Xero is one of the most popular cloud-based accounting software packages for small and medium-sized businesses. Therefore, EPOS Now has developed a seamless integration between your Xero account and your EPOS Now back office, which will sync and keep your data up to date between both applications. With the EPOS Now Xero integration, you can automatically sync all customers, products, suppliers, and end of day reports. This will save you time and money, improve efficiency by automating end of year accounts and payroll calculations, as well as giving you better visibility of your finances. To install the new app, simply head over to the EPOS Now App Store and search for Xero and follow the instructions to install. Once done, simply head over to the Xero console page in the App Store, which can be found by clicking onto My Apps. The Xero console page will provide you with all the information you need in order to sync both your Xero and your EPOS Now accounts. To begin, we first need to authorize our Xero account through the EPOS Now back office. You will need to ensure that you've logged into your Xero account before we can carry out the initial authorization. Once you've logged into your Xero account in a new window, simply head back to the Xero console page in EPOS Now and scroll down and click the Authorize button. Xero will open and ask you to select the company you'd like to integrate your EPOS Now account with. Once selected, click Authorize. You'll now notice that both applications have now been authorized. It's now time to match the zero accounts and zero tax rates that you would like EPOS now to sync with. Under the zero accounts settings section, select the accounts you would like to match and then click save account settings to confirm. Once you've matched your accounts and tax rate, you'll then need to carry out the initial sync between your EPOS now back office and your zero account, combining your products, customers and suppliers between both applications. This process will match the items based on either the product code or your customer and supplier account code. If you scroll down to the Xero initial synchronization section on the Xero console page, you'll notice three buttons, which when pressed in turn will sync your products, customers and suppliers. In this example, I'll be showing you the process of syncing products only, since the process for customers and suppliers is exactly the same. To carry out the initial sync for products, simply click the Perform Sync button against the Products heading on the Xero console page. This will export your data from Xero to EPOS Now HQ and display this information in a new window within the initial sync page on your EPOS Now account. This screen will show you how many items have been matched by the SKU. Remember, any duplicates or unmatched data entities will not be synced and will need to be actioned or edited if you want this information to be synced between both applications. The next section shows us the items ready to be exported and the items ready to be imported between the two applications. When ready, click the Confirm Changes button, which will take you to the summary page. Please check the summary carefully. If you are happy with the summary, tick the box at the end of this page in order to confirm that you are happy to proceed with the sync. Once the process has been run, your products will then have been synced between your Xero account and your EPOS Now account. To sync both customers and suppliers, repeat the steps as described after clicking the Perform Sync for customers and suppliers. Once done, EPOS Now will automatically keep all products, suppliers and customers synced to Xero. Bear in mind, this is only a one-way sync from EPOS Now to Xero. If in the future you would like to sync products, customers and suppliers from Xero to EPOS Now, you will need to carry out a manual sync. This can be easily done by re-running the initial sync process again. The EPOS Now Xero integration is available to all customers for £25 per month for the first location, and then an additional £15 per month for each location after that.